Well, uh, good evening, sisters and brothers, uh, comrades and friends. You know, I was going to start my contribution by saying how happy I was to be here with you tonight. But I'm not happy. I'm not happy to be here. And none of us should be happy to be here. Because Julian should be a free man, living his life with Stella and his family, and engaging in what he does best, which is telling the truth to power. The fact that we're here after so many years, he's been in Belmarsh for five years. It's extraordinary when you think of it, that time has drifted by from those pictures we've seen of, being, of him being dragged in to this high security prison, that we are still here fighting for justice. I had the opportunity to visit Julian in Belmarsh along with Jeremy Corbyn back in September and it was a humbling experience. Here I was sitting opposite a man whose whole life has been dedicated to telling the truth, to make certain that the power brokers around our world were accountable for the actions that they did, highlighting the fact of the atrocities and the illegal uh, things that they were involved in. A man who's done nothing wrong, a man who's actually provided all of us throughout, not just the UK, but throughout the world, the very basics of democracy, which is making certain that power has to answer and be accountable for what they do. It was a humbling experience and I felt when I left, not only a, a deep sadness that I'd left this man, but an anger that swelled up inside me that we could continue to allow this atrocity to take place in our country. You know, this is a man who spoke truth to power. But this is what this is all about. The global establishment, led, of course, by the United States, have made it clear that they will not be answerable to anybody. How dare ordinary people ask them to be accountable for their actions? How dare people challenge their ability to do what they like. And that's what this is all about. The powers that be in our society, in our global society, do what they want. Illegal things that shock ordinary people. And it's what Julian brought to our attention. How many of us remember looking at the WikiLeaks announcements and the things that Alexia has shown us and being shocked by it and thinking this can't happen surely to God somebody's got to call these people to account nobody did and of course America has made it clear that they intend to make Julian an example for any other investigative journalist who wants to kind of expose what's going on in our world, that they shouldn't step over the line. Because if they do, they'll be dealt with in a manner that is nothing short of despicable and atrocious. And we've got to do something about it. Yes. You know, it's not just Amnesty International or the Human Rights Watch or the American Civil Liberties. There's a whole plethora of organisations throughout the world who've turned around and said, this is wrong. This is absolutely wrong. How dare you challenge a man for simply bringing to our attention what's going on in our name? That's what this is about. And it's absolutely despicable that Julian has to suffer in the most highly secured prison in our nation uh, the atrocities that he is going through at the moment. Denied 
his warmth, embrace of Stella and his family. The same as all of us, all of us human beings, with our friends and our family, take courage and strength from. He's denied that for no reason. Five years in a British maximum prison without any charges. Because, of course, this government kowtows to the Americans who say, no, no, we'll be the ones that make a judgment on who is right and who is wrong. And we have to do something about it. Day X is arriving. It's been a long time. And we've got to do something about it. I appeal to all of you to go back to your trade unions. Make certain that the trade unions have announced their commitment to Julian's uh, campaign. Make certain that we are not prepared to allow this to happen and for us to simply shrug our shoulders and forget about it. Because that's what will happen if he goes to America. We may never hear from him again. We have to make certain that we make enough noise. We have to write to our MPs. I'm so delighted, by the way, that I share this platform tonight with David Davis. David and I might disagree on some issues, but this is a man who has a reputation of integrity, a man who believes in justice and speaks out when justice is being challenged. And all of us need to do that. We need to make certain that what Julian has done, which is nothing but serve, not only our nation, but the nations throughout the world, is not forgotten. You know, there's a terrible danger when things go on for so long that it falls off the agenda. Of course it is, there's so many other things happening. Richard has spoken about Gaza and what's happening there. So many things fill our mind with the issues of today. But we've got to make certain that this most important issue, the freedom of the press, the freedom of open speech. Julian, of course, is not an American, in which case he could claim the First Amendment of free speech. He, nevertheless, is subject to the outrageous bullying and attack from the American uh, government. We have to fight it. You know, colleagues, my experience tells me in life that the only thing that can make a difference, the only thing that can challenge what is happening, the only thing is people power. People coming together, people making enough noise about things that our representatives start to listen. Good to see my friend Richard Bergen here, and I wish there were more Labour MPs here. I wish we could get Keir Starmer to commit. Uh, I know, I know this. I know this is disillusionment. I know this is disillusionment of that. But we have to demand this so-called human rights lawyer who leads our party should stand up and make it clear that he's not prepared to put up with the attacks on this individual. Comrades, I know I'm short of time. My experience tells me that when people come together, it is possible to bring about justice. I come from my city of Liverpool, where the Hillsborough campaign fought very hard for justice, and they won. And we need to tell Julian that millions of people around this world will make certain that he will never walk alone. Let's keep fighting for justice.